All right, guys, welcome back to Travel Nuggets. We're at Sutter Fort in Sacramento today. Let's check it out. Here you can see the layout of the fort and some of the outlying pastures and buildings. This park here, though, is where we're gonna be today. This is the old jail. And we're gonna go upstairs and follow Josie. Welcome to the Cannon Tower. If I remember what I read on the sign, it said there was 40 cannons in this fort. And this is the Cooper's shop. Likely for making barrels would be my guess. They have a lot of tools and rings for making barrels and such. Look at the size of this main gate. It's gotta be at least three times as tall as me and maybe four times as tall as Josie. Beside the gate, each of these has a gun platform. This here is your guard room. So they have lots of tools required for guards going on duty. Um, very big gun, I don't know what that's for. But things for loading cannons and everything else that you would need going out on duty. This is a period trade store according to the map. I don't know if it's a representation of a commissary, but it just looks like a lot of goods for sale would have been in here. This here is your candle shop. Because of course there was electricity back in the 1840s when this fort was built. So you had to have candles and it only makes sense that you would make your own. This is the blacksmith's shop. It's quite big. Have your pillow in the back. Help grow the fire. And superheat your metals and a couple anvils. And some old wagon wheels in the back. This is the gunsmith shop. So where you would get your guns repaired and built. A lot of really cool old rifles in the back. And some desks and stuff. This is the Vaquero room. A lot of saddles and antlers. This is the carpenter shop. It's all the woodworking needs. You have your millstones here for grinding down corn and wheat. As well as some general tool storage. more stairs and upstairs there are more cannons and a dozy in the wild and this of course is the distillery gotta have booze here's the fort's kitchen quite a large fireplace for lots of cooking lots of pots and pans and bowls and everything else you would need to make a meal all right, now we're going in the only original standing building from the fort. So we'll have some officer's quarters. I believe there is a sheriff's office as well as some parlors and a doctor's bedroom. Yeah, this looks like a doctor's bedroom based on all the tools and medicines up on there. And then this would be your clerk's office. Somebody's gotta manage the finances of the fort and they would do it in this room here. Got your wood pile for all your wood burning needs and a crane holding a barrel for no reason. This is the bakery stores. Assume where you would store baked goods after the kitchen. They would come over here to be stored. Looks like the bake shop where you would store all your materials for this giant outdoor oven. You got your pizza paddles. There's a view outside in the courtyard. There's the original building, the only part left standing. Back to the oven and a fire pit for outdoor cooking as well. And of course a covered wagon. And then you have your weaving room for all your te textile needs. Josie, I think it's about time we were weaving. We're weaving soon. 
weaving.